Okay, in this demonstration, it's really more of an exercise of uh, integrating and composing materials. I think a good title for it would be a mixed media message board, even though it's not really a message board, it kind of has that look. So one of the things, look at this, look at this is all of my collage materials, printed, painted, and there's so much of it. I have it with clips, but there's so much of it, I tend to forget that I have it. I was poking around the garage, so, and I have it organized with clips, usually according to color. So I went ahead and I pulled some of these sheets out. Um, going to use a piece of cardboard it can just be scrap and it can be any size and I think it'd be fun to do a bunch of these quick message board studies here's a piece of book page that I've uh, I guess I painted on here and I with a feather as well I was doing some tests this weekend with the golden bronze paint very quick tests um still haven't quite figured it out but it does turn a little bleed a little bit green so I got that, found a bottle cap floating around, I'm gonna be using some string and maybe some paint. Um, another thing I do with my collage pieces is you can get one of these folders and then I, I put all the little, look at that, look at all those little scrappy scraps. So just keeping them all in one place, I tend to forget about it, but then I kind of just rifle through. I'm like, oh, look at that. That's kind of interesting. What do we got in here? Little bits and bobs of this. Uh, that's interesting. Some people think of it as junk. I'm thinking of it as inspirational treasure. Okay, so here I go. So again, things in three. So I found these these two pieces and I liked this piece and so I moved it around I kind of like oh wait what was it I think it was down here forming a connection so I kind of like the way this swoop connects with that I've got it on this piece of cardboard here then I'm going to get string now I'm just using this cooking twine but you could really jazz it up um, with colored string. And here's what I'm gonna do. On my piece of cardboard, instead of cutting it, I'm gonna fold it, almost like origami. Okay, then I need to cinch it down. So instead of using glue, I'm going to use string. This is what, um, Veronica did. I thought that's really cool. Now she, this is my addition. I could put a little notch if it's cardboard and put that string through and then I can move this around to an angle that seems to go with those pieces. So I'm not using any glue yet. Just putting these things down almost like a message board. I'm gonna come around here. So we're just playing. We're just playing with, we've got line going on here. We're making connections with these pieces, trying to come up with a simple, mixed media composition. I could add glue later. Okay, so I can't, I'm trying to decide, do I like it here? I kind of like it there. Okay, so now I'm gonna make another little notch. If you wanna skip the notch and just wrap, you may do that. Okay, now I gotta get up here.
Okay, I'm gonna go over there. This is really too hard to fold. I'll probably cut it later. I'm not quite ready. I might change the composition. Okay, so that's what I've got so far. It feels elegant to me. Then I can start bringing things in like my bottle cap. I could put it there. I could tuck it. This is what Veronica did. She tucked things underneath. So I still have a lot of room to fiddle with these pieces until I land on something that I like. And because I haven't glued anything down, I can lift things off. Like I want to change I want to change this background color. So this would be, at this point, it would be good to take a, a snapshot, a photo with this with your camera. Take everything apart, or instead of taking it apart, I could say, you know what? Actually, I'm going to have to because of those book pages. I could slide things out. Um, hang on. So I have to determine, I could leave it as is, and I could, I could, I'm gonna add some paint. I could paint on top. My preference is to have the paint underneath. Maybe I'll have some, I'm gonna leave this book page. And then the string is probably going to change color. If I don't want that to happen, I would take the string off. I'm gonna go with this indigo. And I'm going to brush this on kind of quickly. And I'm going to keep it loose. I want some of those brush strokes showing. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put this piece back underneath. Hopefully that color still works. Some of the paint is getting on there. Okay, there's that. Then I could come back and put my bottle cap there. I could decide if I want this red piece to be part of it. So I can still shuffle all these elements around till I get it where I where I want it to be. I kind of like it right there. So I would need to glue that down with my glue gun, which I don't have right now. This red seems kind of strong, maybe a thinner sliver. And again, I have so much of this collage scrap. Um, it doesn't work, that's okay. Okay, so this kind of lines up nicely with the line of the string. So that might go there. And so that's a quick compositional study. And then I would just go on to the next. Here's another one. Here's the first one that I tried. And it was with all these little collage papers, I you know, tests I had done. So kind of like the message board, I can tuck things in there, rocks, feathers. Um, I even ripped apart one of my previous lessons. I didn't like the whole thing, but I liked this bronze cardboard. So I can move these elements around. So the string 
help secure and tuck things in, but it, the lines also be part of the compositional structure, which is totally fun. And I love this, this wrapping folding experience. So um, give it a go. And I would do lots of them. They're totally fun. And then this way, you're learning things about composing, bringing elements together without throwing um, all of your eggs in one basket, so to speak. So there you go.